Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are back doing another mod showcase. And today I'm going to be running you through everything you need to know to tame one of the coolest, one of the strongest dragons in Minecraft. Yes, we are going to be using the new Wimroost mod and we are going to be taming one of their latest released dragons. It is pretty awesome, it is very powerful, and it's definitely not easy. So I'm going to be running you through that today, so make sure to stick around. And uh, yeah, we're going to be also exploring everything you can do once it's tamed, and how you can breed it. It's going to be pretty awesome. But guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, then slap that like button, show your love, it is appreciated. But anyway, let's crack on with it. So, today we are going to be looking at the Royal Red. It is one of the latest released dragons in the updates, and uh, Wimroos is now in 1.16.4. Um, I think it's been in that one, well, pretty much since 1.16.4 came out. They are very up to date on updating the mod to the latest Forge. It's something they pride themselves on. They talk about it a lot. And if you guys know this mod, it is one of my favourite dragon mods. I have done reviews on it on in the past. Uh, where I've gone over the other dragons in the mod and I will link that down below so you can explore that so you can figure out how to craft all of these items uh, how you get these geodes how you craft the armor how you craft the weapons and how you craft wherever it is the dragon staff as well which is very important you are going to need it and uh, yeah so I'll link that down below so you guys can get up to date on that but Today, as I said, we're going to be looking at the Royal Red. It is an awesome looking dragon. Now, as I said, this is one of their newer dragons and it is pretty beasty. It comes in two genders. It comes in, obviously, female, male, but the male ones are the smaller versions. They have about 120 HP. They are a darker shade of red and don't have such large horns whereas the females they have about 130 hp much larger much bigger horns and just generally better looking to be perfectly honest and uh yeah so let's spawn one in let's see what we get so let's have a little look see here all right so it appears to me yep we've got the female one in here the one i did want to get in and it is amazing looking. Yeah, they they will attack everything. They will burn everything to the ground. They don't care. To be honest, they are very strong, very powerful, and you definitely want to tame one of these. Now, it is recommended to have a minimum armor set of the geode level. So minimum, you're going to want blue. I've gone for purple today, which is the strongest out of the geode armors. So maybe you guys should think about going for that one first. It just gives that extra bit of protection. And also you need to have... Oh, he's gone. Oh, she has gone away. There she is. Uh, you are also going to want to have the um, purple or well, the geo tipped arrows. Yet again, you can have any of the geo-tipped arrows. It just has to be a geo-tipped arrow. And they, they are going to be the only ones that can penetrate the royal red skin. The skin on this dragon and the armor on this dragon is immense, guys. It's mad. Alright, so now I've run you through this guy. Let's get on to battling it. So I'm going to change on game mode. And we're going to see how long I survive. And... <laughs> It's going to be interesting. Uh, I've got the strongest armor stuff on, so I have a real, real advantage. I'm not going to lie. Oh, hello, and it begins. And it begins already. I'm going to go for a ranged attack. So I can't even see. I can't even see at the moment. So I'm going to try and get under cover 
or something. I'm just, I'm just going to die straight away, to be honest. Flipping heck. As you can see, Char Charizard used flamethrower. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love that. That's awesome. Um, as you can see, flipping powerful. It's a very strong dragon. So now you've seen what we're dealing with, I'm going to have fire resistance because that is going to be the thing that's going to really give me the boost here. So you're going to gonna want to make sure you kind of got that, but still a flipping powerful dragon. You don't want to get too up close and personal with this bad boy. I can't even see where it is. The flames, the exponential. So come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. So you are going to want to be flipping equipped. This, there's just, there's no let up with this guy at all. Okay, come on. Don't you flip and do it again. Okay, we're, we're running. Come on, let's get, let's get down here. We might be able to just escape. Okay, let's get some meat in here. Come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's heal up, let's heal up. Okay, where is the, where is it? Okay, come on. So I had to spawn, respawn in uh, another dragon. Because the original one flew away when I died. So they kind of lost interest in me. Oh, voice break. What is happening with that? That's embarrassing. Normally, YouTubers would probably cut that out. But I, I am not a normal YouTuber. Okay. Wow. This place is just burnt to the, burnt to the crisp. Okay, come on. Come on. Show me. Show me your hide. Will, will you let up? I honestly can't see a thing. If anybody can see through this, it's just mental. Look at the forest. This is what you've got to be prepped for. Okay, come on. We're going one to one with this dude now. We're going one to flipping one. Okay, yes, yes. This is this is the best we've done so far. Okay, retreat and eat some meat. Okay, now let's get back up at it. Okay, where where you where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I don't even know how you would do like ranged attacks with this guy. You can't see a thing. Uh, maybe stand in water the whole time, but that's also not super duper useful. And I feel like my fire resistance will eventually wear off. Okay, come on, come on. I can't even, I can't even see the dude. Okay, where, I, I'm aiming the bow uselessly. Okay, come, come down to my level. I probably should maybe turn the sound down. It probably super duper loud. Uh, yeah, it's a little better. This place is just blitzed. Okay, yes. Did he did he come down briefly? It's honestly a nightmare. He won't won't come close to me. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. This is on. This is on. So we've got to get this guy down to pretty much no health, and then it collapses. As soon as this dragon collapses, you can then start to tame it. You've got to wait a minute and a half uh, for a cooldown while it's collapsed. To then give it a go and try taming. All right, come on, come on, come back down to the ground. That's that's where we want you. That that is how. Yes, yes. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, almost there. Twenty-three. Okay, who can last? Who can outlast? Okay, come on. Yes, yes, we have done it. That was excruciating. So we needed quite a lot of meat to get through that. Oh well, we used high quality meat. And let's change the time as well. Let's keep it daytime. I should have set my game rule or something. All right, let's go back to this mode. Yes, this view. All right. So yeah, you're supposed to wait a minute and a half. Each time I've done it, I, I haven't done a specific timer on it. I've just kind of like waited a little bit. And if you can't feed it from the front, you've just got to come around to the back and like feed it on its back. It's, it's slightly weird. Uh, I think they're going to fix that in the next update, but that's just what you got to do. So, yeah, okay, so I just tapped it, and it's still waiting. So the cooldown, ah, uh, I can't wait to have a pet dragon. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Are you, are you ready yet to be fed? Come on, come on, I just, I just really want to really feed you and tame you. It's going to be awesome. But as you saw, guys, it was not an easy battle. Uh, I mean, it's not the hardest battle we've had. I still think the Hydra from the Ice and Fire mod is, like, the hardest we've had. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Honestly ridiculous, that mod. Uh, still, we haven't really found anything to, like, beat it. 
Okay, hey, hey, do you do you want some of the, some of the meats now? Some of the meats now. Nope, nope. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Yes. Was it? Did it work? Or was that just my potion effect? <laughs> Been, no, we did feed it. We did feed it because it's gone up in health. Where, where, where did it, where did it, where did it get fed? Okay, come on. Work with me here. Work with me here. Do it. Have the meats. Maybe. I've never had to throw it at you, but I'll do it. Yeah, I like how you don't play ball as soon as we start recording. The amount of times I've practiced trying to tame these guys. Yes, there we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, take take the meats. Take the meats. Are you my friend now? Are you my friend? Are we friendly? Are we... I feel like we're friendly. You 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 seem nope nope did not my biggest fan still. Not my <laughs> still not my biggest fan. So I am not gonna faff around fighting this guy again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap to this and we're just gonna take him out. And then we're gonna we're gonna feed him again until it works because that's what you gotta do sometimes. Stuff doesn't always go to plan. You have to improvise, adapt, overcome. Just as Bear Grylls once said. If I don't know if any if any other non-English people will know who he is. So the <laughs> uh, actually I imagine everyone will know who he is. Okay, no, he's dead. Oh well. You know what? We're gonna have to go to my backup. Boom! Here are two I tamed earlier for this outcome. So, here we have the female one and we have the male one, both sporting some amazing geode armor. Now, what should have happened when tamed, these guys will follow you around and then you can control them with the dragon staff. As I said earlier, dragon staff, very important. So all you've got to do is tap on it with the staff. It will tell you its gender and it will tell you, uh, well, not its hearts because it definitely has more health than that. But you have the option to either follow, sit, target commanding, and uh, you can access its inventory to pop on some armor. Now let's go and fly this guy around. We won't take it too far because we don't want to lose the mail. So spacebar to go up and then obviously W to go forward and then look wherever you really want to go. So it's pretty simple navigation guys. Uh, look straight forward for gliding and all that good stuff. It is awesome, it is simple. And you got to press G for the fire ability and there isn't really a cooldown for the fire ability. So you can absolutely go bananas on this. It's amazing. And then you can press V for the claw and bite attack. It is awesome. It looks sick. I love it. Alright, so let's let's descend, shall we? Let's see if I can do this properly. There you go. Just gotta look at the ground for it to descend. Uh, where's the dew dragon? We've got to walk it to the dew dragon because I'm going to show you how we breed them. So they've got to be about two blocks apart. So they've got to be pretty close to each other, guys. Uh, don't you... St you stay there. You stay there. All right. And to breed these guys now, you obviously need two of the different genders. And you can use any type of raw meat. I'm going to use uh, the lower tier meat just because... Why not? It's probably going to be the meat you're going to have the most of. So you just got to feed that one and feed this one. And then eventually a egg of the dragon will pop up in your inventory. The wiki doesn't give it a set time. So I don't, I'm not too sure on that one. So just keep going with it guys until it, until it works. Uh, it happened earlier for me. So I'm not sure if it's one per dragon or what, but just got to feed it the raw meat and you will eventually get a royal red egg pop up in your inventory. My one popped up in my hot bar, so it will come. Just got to give it a little bit of time. So maybe I'll turn this one to follow and I'll turn this one to follow. We'll try giving it some meat. So yeah, giving the old hearty hearts. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Now it's happening. It's all kicking off now. There we go. Is it, you, you're done. And I love, I love the shadows. The shadows look awesome. 
No, any day now, guys. Come on. How much time does it... Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, awesome. Drop some XP for you as well. Now, to hatch one of these, all you got to do, place it on the ground. And they have a time hatching of about 60 minutes. But if you move it, you got to... It doesn't, it doesn't work if you break it. So, you can pick it up and move it. But if you do that, the time stops. So, just leave it. Place in your home on the ground for 60 minutes. And it will spawn in eventually. And just look at how awesome these are. So, don't even lie. You want to have an army of these. These are just flipping amazing. Definitely, guys, go download the Wimroos mod. It's an amazing mod. Loads to it. Loads coming out. They're going to eventually be bringing out dimensions. A dragon dimension, which is going to be mad. So keep your eyes out for this mod, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any other mods you want me to go over and explain and show to you guys, let me know about it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.